here's what I want to start talking about then. We've got our tempo built, we've got our key decided, we've got the scale and the position decided. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to start selecting notes and groups of notes, because really if we think about what is a guitar lick, well the guitar lick is really an idea that gets repeated. That's what a lick is. Right? If I'm just meandering across the fretboard, I'm not really playing licks. Once I reach somewhere where I start actually repeating, okay, then um, and hopefully, have you guys seen the, the, the link for the, um, the jam track? Hopefully they've got that up there somewhere to join the Facebook group and grab that jam track so you can use this when we're done. Okay. So now what I've got to do is I've got to go in here and I've, got to, I've chose my position that I'm going to play in on the guitar. Now I'm going to choose the notes and I'm going to choose the organization of those notes. So let me show you what I mean. So what I'm gonna do is let's just start over here in A minor pentatonic and build something very, very, very basic. So what I'm doing right there, uh, for those of you that can see the other camera, not Instagram, but everybody else, I'm playing five, two, five, two. Okay, now this is not exciting. I'm just creating something basic. We're gonna keep elaborating on this as we keep going, but let me show you this. So if I'm playing at 120 beats per minute, what I have to decide is with that idea, am I playing here? Or am I playing here? Or So, and there's a triplet we're going to talk about as well, but that's the first thing you have to understand is anytime you're going to play over something, that tempo that you're given is going to define your abilities. Now, we're going to talk about technique as well in a little bit here, and we're going to actually talk about technique more in uh, next week. But the technique enables you to be able to play this at a particular tempo. Excuse me, at a particular subdivision from that tempo. Okay, so if we think about this as being eighth notes, just hypothetically, then I do this. Okay, let's call that 16th notes, okay? And then, okay, there it is. So moving into that, I could call that then 32nd notes. And what I have to do, what you have to do, is decide where do you need to be for that to happen. Okay, where are you able to do that? At 120 beats per minute, you need to be aware of your abilities or things that you need to work on because as soon as the music starts at whatever tempo it is, you've got to have some ideas of things that you could do. You see? So as I play this, go back here. Here we go. Sorry, I'm starting over. And then. Again, at this point, it's not exciting yet. We gotta keep changing this. We're not, we're not doing anything exciting, we're just building. So let's talk about technique a little bit. Let's say you wanted to play at the 32nd note, okay, which is the faster one, if we're calling it that, okay? So at the 32nd note, if we wanted to play there, but you're not able to pick that fast, right? So now you decide, okay, I want to learn how to pick better, so I'm gonna practice that. That's wonderful, okay? But let's say you wanted to execute it soon and you haven't developed that yet. What you might do, for instance, is possibly what you're doing is doing pull-offs. Or maybe you like the sound of the pull-off a little bit better. Right? Maybe you like that sound a little bit better and that's what you want to try and work with is, uh, is doing pull-offs. So let's listen to that for a second here. See, or you're picking it. Again, in, in my world, I don't care whether you pick it or, or what we call slur, hammer-ons and pull-offs. I don't care what you do, as long as you do it effectively and you have fun with it. That's the most important thing, right? Where sometimes we get caught up in this thing where we're supposed to pick everything or we're supposed to do whatever. You need to figure out what works for you and then where you want to go from there. 
okay? Legato for me is equally, absolutely equally as important as picking. So you just have to decide what it is you wanna do. Uh, now somebody says, are you alternate picking? To play that fast if I'm picking it, yeah, you, it'd be pretty tough to try and do them all down. So I'm definitely alternate picking. Okay, for, for doing that. But again, my point is, is you don't have to pick it. You could, you could do pull-offs and it'd be just fine. Okay, so whatever works for you. So now we understand we've got a tempo, we've got a key, we've got a scale that we want to choose. We've got a position on the fretboard that we're comfortable with. And now we're digging in there. We've chose some notes. We've chosen a group of four notes, which makes it a little bit boxy right now. We're going to change that in just a second here. Okay, but we've chose four notes and we've decided now with those four notes that we're building a pattern that technically we can either play at a quarter note or excuse me, eighth note, 16 or 32nd note. And we're doing that by hammer-ons, pull-offs, in this case pull-offs, or picking, whatever works for you. Okay, so but these are things you have to think about because when you get in there, you might try and do a lick and you go, well, it doesn't really fit. Well, this is why it's probably not fitting. You need to make sure that you can make this fit. Okay, so... If that makes sense, let's keep going. So the next thing I do then is I'm gonna take those notes and instead of doing the same thing, let's say I'm doing the pull-offs and I'm gonna elaborate the pattern a little bit, okay? Not in any crazy way, but I'm gonna elaborate the pattern. I'm gonna to switch to this camera angle. Here we go. So now I'm gonna go like this. 